Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, we once again come to our risen Lord, the Good Shepherd. The Shepherd gives us His words as a light in times of darkness. And so to prepare ourselves to receive this light from our risen Lord, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. 
Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness of the just, Listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what you generously promise may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas and Saul completed the relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth among all nations, your salvation. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on the earth you guide. O God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O God, let all the nations praise you. Please stand. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, 
Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him. The word that I spoke, it will condemn him on the last day. Because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that His commandment is eternal life. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. One of the important symbols of Easter is the Paschal candle. And it is always lighted up especially whenever we celebrate the liturgy and the Holy Eucharist. It is a symbol that Jesus is the light. And this is also our gospel today, that Jesus came to bring light into our darkness. That is the Word of God. It brings us light in times of darkness. The Word of God is given by the Good Shepherd not just to comfort us, not just for us to quote it, but to become a light for us. Ibinigay po ng mabuting pastol ang kanyang salita hindi lang para basahin hindi lang para ipost sa Facebook hindi lang para gamitin at ilagay sa kung ano-anong lugar ang salita ng Diyos ay dapat magliwanag magpaliwanag sa buhay mo Kaya nga sabi ni Jesus, kapag nakinig ka sa salita ko at nanatili ka sa kadiliman, hindi nagliwanag ang salita sa iyo. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, whenever we listen to God's Word, remember that it brings light into our lives. Minsan nga po, may mga nagsasabi sa akin, Father, parang tinamaan ako doon sa salita ng Diyos ngayon. O kaya minsan sinasabi sa akin, Father, parang masakit yata pakinggan yung salita ng Diyos sa akin ngayon. Kapag tinamaan ka ng salita ng Diyos, huwag kang magagalit. Kapag tinamaan ka ng salita ng Diyos, huwag ka agad aatras. Baka nakikipag-usap ang Diyos sa iyo at nais niyang maliwanagan ang buhay mo. Ganyan ang salita ng Diyos. Liwanag na tatanglaw sa kadiliman. That is why in our first reading today, we see the mission work of the apostles of the teachers and prophets in the church. They spread and preached the word 
But before they preach the word, they lay hands on the apostles and the Spirit filled them. Sapagkat ang salita ng Diyos ay hindi lamang isang babasahin, kundi ang salita ng Diyos ay isang instrumento ng Espiritu Santo para tayo ay bigyang buhay at maliwanagan ang isipan, ang ating puso at ang ating buhay. My dear brothers and sisters, whenever we read the Word of God, whenever we listen to the Word of God, remember, it is not just about learning. It is not just about quoting. It is not just about memorizing. It is not even using it for your own sake. The Word of God always is a light that shines in our darkness. Allow the Word of God to be your light. And Jesus, the Good Shepherd, will enlighten your mind, your heart, and your life. Amen. Please God never intended us to die. He created us for life, but we chose death. Christ, our Redeemer, restores us to life, and we come to our Father praying through Him. For every petition, let us say, Father, let us walk in your light. Father, let us walk in your light. That our Pope and bishops may continue to proclaim the good news of Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us, us walk, walk in, in your light. That government officials may imitate the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let, let us, us walk, walk in, in your, your light. light. That people in nations afflicted by poverty may be drawn to Jesus, who became poor for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us, us walk, walk in, in your light. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us, us walk, walk in your light. That the faithful departed may be raised up to eternal joy in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us, us walk in your light. All-powerful God, our lives rest in your hand. Trusting in your provident care, we bring our petitions before you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery 
of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like again to invite everyone for our Healing Rosary this evening, Wednesday evening at 9 p.m. We will be led by the community of San Ildefonso de Toledo Parish in Giginto, Bulacan. We thank their community for leading us to praying the Healing of the Rosary, the Healing Rosary this evening. And let us be one in our prayer for the continued counting of the ballots, we thank the PPCRV, the employees and personnel of the Comelec, our dear teachers who have played an important role for the integrity of this election. Let us include all of them in our prayer of the Healing Rosary this evening. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.
Regina Cheni, Leitare.